You guys ask this question a lot through emails, and today we're going to answer it. It takes a lot to get an engine up and running on the dyno. There's a lot of factors involved. One of them is getting the carburetor set up and tuned in so the engine runs smooth and we're in a safe air fuel ratio range. Well, today we're going to show you how we do it. And this goes for a carburetor that's brand new out of the box, or maybe something you're having a little bit of an issue with. With electronic fuel injection flooding the automotive market, some may think that carburetors are a thing of the past. Well, I challenge you to go to your local drag strip or car show and count how many carbs that you see. Whether it's a nitrous car, a naturally aspirated door slammer, or just a nice hot rod, I bet you're still gonna see plenty of carbs. The culprit for today's tech is the 750 CFM quick fuel black diamond carburetor. Now this thing has mechanical secondaries, no choke, and no choke horn, making this a high performance drag race or oval track setup. It's safe to say no matter the application, the carb will require some adjustment out of the box. For the most part, there'll be minor ones. This engine is a mild built 350 small block Chevrolet, so I'm sure a lot of you can relate to it. Our starting point is setting the engine's curb idle speed, and that's determined by the part selection and the engine's purpose. This cam has a hydraulic flat tappet with a duration of 218 degrees at 50, so our target is gonna be 750 RPM. Hitting that target is done by adjusting the throttle blades using the adjustment screw or screws. Now some carbs have one for the front blades and one for the rear. With the engine not running, we'll completely close the throttle blades, then slightly open them about a quarter turn. Then start the engine and let it reach operating temperature. By turning it clockwise, it opens the blades, which increases the idle speed. Counterclockwise closes them, decreasing idle speed. Our target is set. The idle mixture is next. This carb has a four corner idle mixture setup. We like to run each screw in until it gently bottoms out, then back each one off one turn as a starting point. Hook up a vacuum gauge to a manifold vacuum port and adjust the screws evenly to achieve the highest vacuum reading. The idle speed will increase when this happens, so a slight idle speed adjustment can be done while this is going on. Keep repeating this process until your mixture screws are even and your vacuum is at its highest. Then you can back your idle speed down by turning the main idle screw for the last time. Using these few simple tools gets you to a good point for the rest of your tuning, and that means driving it if it's your street car or making passes with it if it's your race car, and that means changing jets and air bleeds, and we'll get to that another time. 